welcome. Today we're gathered together in sight of God for a very special and joyous occasion, and that is to witness and bless the joining of James and Katrina in marriage. Marriage is a beautiful relationship between two people. It's a union founded on love. James, if I could please ask you to take your bride's bouquet and just place it on the grass, and then I'll have the two of you join both of each other's hands facing each other. And I ask you to join hands as a symbol of the union that you're making here today. And I want you to think about the hands that you're holding. Because these are the hands of your very best friend holding your hands on your wedding day. Promising to love you and work with you as you build your future together. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need strength. Tenderness when you need tenderness. And love when you need love. These are the hands that will also hold all of whom you love. These are the hands that through your lifetime together will wipe tears of sorrow from your eyes, but hopefully many, many more tears of joy. And these are the hands that years from now will still be searching for your hands, still seeking the love, encouragement, and support that each of you will give to one another. All of these things have brought you right here today to the beautiful Thule Springs, all ready to say your marriage vows to one another. And it's important to understand that these vows cannot be made lightly. And James and Katrina, I'm sure the two of you realize this. These vows need to be made with a great deal of consideration and respect. With that thought in mind, James, I have a question for you. Do you take Katrina to be your wife, to live together in marriage, to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful only to her as long as you both shall live? I do. Then please repeat after me. I, James, take you, Katrina, to be my wife. I, James, take you, Katrina, to be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. I promise to be your true and loyal husband. And to love and honor you always. I do this because I love you today. I will love you tomorrow. And I will love you forever. Katrina, are you ready to say your marriage vows? Then I also have a question for you. Do you take James to be your husband, to live together in marriage, to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful only to him as long as you both shall live? I do. Then please repeat after me. I, Katrina, take you, James, to be my husband. I, Katrina, take you, James, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. Wasn't. I have a reading for you from the Corinthians, the chapter of love. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. Yet these three will remain, hope, faith, and love. And the greatest of these is love. And now if I could ask you to each carefully hold one another's wedding ring for a moment, and we'll talk about the wedding ring. Throughout time, the wedding ring has been a symbol of unending love. Because like time, your rings have no beginning and no end. They're the emblem of eternity. They're also made of metals that are least likely to tarnish. These things symbolize the pledges that you just finished making to one another here today. But above all else, your wedding rings will now be an outward and visible sign, signifying to all the uniting of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. But above all else, they'll be very special to you, and when you're apart, you can look at the ring on your finger and know that you're married to the one that you love. James, please place Katrina's ring on her finger. Hold it there and repeat after me. Katrina, I give you this ring. 
Katrina, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And as a reminder. And as a reminder. That I have chosen you. That I have chosen you. To be the one. To be the one. To share my life. To share my life. Perfect. Looks like it's all the way on. Katrina, please place James's ring on his finger. Hold it there and repeat after me. James, I give you this ring. James, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And as a reminder. And as a reminder. That I have chosen you. That I have chosen you. To be the one. To be the one. To share my life. To share my life. You can slide it all the way on. Perfect. James, I'll have you give your bride her bouquet back, and then I'll have the two of you face me the way we started. James and Katrina, in just a moment I'm going to pronounce you husband and wife. Before I do that, I'd like to say a couple brief words about marriage. They may be brief, but they're good things to keep in mind. Marriage is being in love for the rest of your life. It's love walking arm in arm with your very best friend. It's thinking of new things to do together. It's laughing about the silly things in life with care and tenderness. It's trusting each other even though from time to time the two of you may be very far apart. It's the realization there's no one else in the world you'd rather be with. Certainly no one else you'd rather be married to. It's growing old together, but most of all, marriage is being in love for the rest of your life. James and Katrina, you've said your marriage vows to one another, witnessed by God and those of us here today. You've sealed those vows with the giving and the receiving of the wedding rings. So now it's my very great honor to pronounce you husband and wife. And James, you may kiss your beautiful bride. And congratulations, James and Katrina. It's very official. You are married. One more kiss.